Hey guys and welcome back to another awesome video with your host, as always, good old Jim Boy. We're back with another unboxing, it's Wardlow. If you saw the last video, I said I still need to unbox Wardlow. I got through all them AEW figures as quick as I could. Um, maybe we'll take a little bit more time on this one. I'm just going to do Wardlow in this video. Uh, first and foremost, when I look at this, great figure. So pleased to have Wardlow in the collection now. Um, figure that I, I was wait, before it came out I was waiting for it I thought we need a Wardlow figure we need a Wardlow figure we finally got one we've only got two now actually not I haven't got both I've only got this one but there are two Wardlow figures out uh, this one's in the unmatched collection uh, as opposed to the unrivaled um, it's exactly the same there's literally no difference it's not like basics and elites from Mattel the unmatched and unrivaled are literally the same um, <laughs> but yeah we're gonna get into these um, so without further ado, we've got the old slithery scissors here. So let's get into it. Let's get into Wardlow. Uh, definitely one of my favourite uh, wrestlers in AEW. Almost said WWE then. Um, yeah, just getting into it there. Just cut these open. It's a good job I'm a Lucy guy with AEW figures, isn't it? To be fair, I'm Lucy now with all figures. The old mock stuff I've got is stay a mock. Um, but new stuff now, I just have to room for mock, so I just go loosey with it all, get it all out, get it all open, can't mess about then, takes up a lot less room, and they look so good out of box, but anyway, right, uh, there he is, he's out the box, see ya, there he is, have a quick look at him in his plastic package, uh, accessories wise, he's just got a spare set of hands and a spare head, we'll get the head out first, uh, that head's in there good. Oh, sh sugar. <laughs> that head's in there good, boys. Right, there we go. There we go. First look at that head. Scan. Face scan. Yeah, yeah. That's not bad, actually. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, I go with that. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with that one. Yeah, yeah. I wish this had focused better, but yeah, that's... um. That is pretty good, I like that. Yeah, I like that, I'm pleased with that. You get the hands out, so he's got Mike holding hands and then he's the spare ones and the fist ones. You know, pretty pretty generic stuff, but you know, stuff we gotta have in it because you know they are wrestlers, they do they do hold mics and they all but they also do punch each other, so uh it makes sense to have them hands. <laughs> Ward low out this plastic package, this noisy plastic package. Christ I hate them noises. I'm only trying to do it quietly. And then it's like... Hit <laughs> something else. But anyway, there we go. Here's Wardlow. <sighs> I do like the joints on these AW figures. Gotta be honest, I do like it. And there he is. Wardlow. Such a great character, honest to God such a good wrestler not just because he's a big bloke but i actually like the character i i like him as a person the, the persona being big kind of helps i suppose it is what he is you know obviously he came in kind of as mjf's bodyguard a bit didn't he sort of protecting mjf and then um, and then he just obviously mjf treat him like a see you next tuesday so <laughs> we all knew he was going to turn on him eventually and yeah and yeah he's one of the biggest baby faces in the company now he's been tnt champion um he had his little uh, rivalry with Samoa Joe after they were tag partners as well, which is weird. But um, I know that these things happen, but, you know, it's just... It kind of come and went a bit quick, that one, didn't it? They were, they were friends and tag partners, and then they became enemies again. It was it, well, Not again, but became enemies. But anyway, there we go. Let's have a quick look at the figure. It's, uh, it's not much to this figure. The, the outfit's pretty basic. Obviously, it's just a black vest and trunk singlet sort of thing. Wardlow on the back there in green. Yeah, this, this torso moves nicely. Let's draw them hips. <laughs> uh, he's got the lions on his um, sort of hips areas there. There's the other head scan, the other face scan on the other head. And yeah, again, obviously he's a big muscly dude, so they've made it that to suit him. You know, it's not a generic muscle bound body. It's that that suits him. That's his body. Uh, and I really like that. I like that that Jazzwares are doing that. Yeah, it's a really good figure. I cannot fault it. I cannot fault it at all. Really, really, really pleased to have it. 
yeah, I like it. The joint articulation is brilliant in these figures. Oh, it's got like the double jointed articulation. And they've basically they've had that from day one, like the jazz wears. I think they've watched WWE's, uh, you know, Mattel's WWE figures and thought, hmm, I can make that better. Now, Mattel have also introduced that. And they've got the Ultimates, haven't they? Which is basically kind of how these are. Uh, they have an extra bit on the Ultimates. They've got the, like, the, the toe that turns up and all that. But, you know, these are, the, these are amazing figures, honestly. Uh, it's a shame Smiths aren't stocking them anymore. Uh, I know that the line kind of has gone, a, not, not completely dead in the water, but it's they don't hold the value. You know, they're just not that popular. AEW is only, what, three and a half years old, something like that at the moment. It's, it's still got a lot of building to do. But they're getting there, they're getting there. Hopefully Smiths will one day get these back, because it would be great to see them back on the shelves and all that. Um, but yeah, but no, that's that's an absolutely fantastic figure. I really, really like it. Um, and I'm glad to have them in the collection. I'm going to have to have a little move around with my AW figures, because it's getting a bit crowded there now. <laughs> but yeah, but I mean, you know, he's got his little um, ponytail sort of thing, what he ties back, what he ties up at the back of his head. So he's got that. Has he got that thing? Where he, yeah, yeah, I think they've all got it. I just never noticed it before, because, I mean, like that, you can't even see that. Unless you know it's there and you're looking for it, you can't actually see it, can you? That that joint where their head sort of moves back and forth like a chicken, but or like a pigeon, I should say. <laughs> but it's there. But anyway, amazing figure. So glad to have that. Anyway, I'm going to leave that video there, guys. Uh, let me know what you thought. And leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you're brand new to the channel and haven't done already, hit that subscribe. Leave a like if you like the video. And yeah, just let me know what you think to this figure. Um, I'm going to leave it there and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.